Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to review one of the first android 13 roms for the oneplus 8t and oneplus 9r so without wasting any more time let's get started so google has started rolling out android 13 for the pixel devices and since then a lot of developers have started developing custom roms for various devices so the developer of project zfresh is working on full fledged build of android 13 for the oneplus 8t and 9r and he has released a beta build based on oxygen OS 11. I have installed that build on my OnePlus 8T, and you can see if I go into the About Info section, the Android version is Android 13, and the security patch is of 5th August. Huge thanks to the developer for working so hard and pushing this build. Let's quickly have a look at it, and let's see what all is working and not working. Also, comment down if you want me to make a video on how to install this ROM on your OnePlus 8T and 9R. Although it is recommended to wait for the stable build of this ROM, which is going to be released soon. Coming to the basic functionality, all the basic functionality is working fine. Wi-Fi is working bluetooth is also working and calling is also working without any problems the bloatware is very less on this rom by default it just comes with only essential apps also because of the less bloatware the rom feels pretty snappy and responsive you only get the fingerprint unlock functionality now so no face unlock and no app locker currently however the fingerprint unlock is pretty fast and accurate talking about the launcher you get the stock pixel launcher with this rom moving on if i go into the about info section you can see that the android version is 13 and if i get to the splash screen you can see android 13 so you get all the latest and greatest features released with android 13 if i play something you get this cool new looking media widget and output picker if you check the lock screen settings inside display you now have option to choose a single line clock or double line clock we also have a qr code scanner tile which directly opens up google lens so all the latest android 13 features are there and working well comment down if you want me to make a video on all the features of android 13 coming to the safety net the rom passes the safety net test out of the box and you will be able to use payment apps as fine the wildline security level is also l1 and you can stream hd content on netflix and other streaming sites moving on since this is an oxygen 11 based build you also get the oxygen os camera and gallery app oxygen os camera app works fine the image quality and the all other stuff is just same and the gallery app is also working fine good to have oxygen os camera and gallery app for android 13 roms also talking about the battery i didn't face any drains but this rom is currently not optimized so you get very less screen on time compared to other roms i am getting close to 4 5 hours of screen on time if you talk about the charging speed charging speeds are able to full charge between 40 to 45 minutes so face no issues there talking about gaming you get full 90 fps support on bgmi as you can see in bgmi settings you have the option to select 90 fps and you can play on 90 fps the gaming performance is also better than oxygen os 12 comment down if you want to see an actual gaming review for this rom now let's talk about the customization options that are available on this rom though the rom is not properly released and currently in beta phases so don't expect many customizations from it if you go into the network settings there are options for small mobile type icons volti icon styles and network traffic indicator inside notification we also have options for annoying notification making heads up less annoying and hide silent notification and status bar under battery we have battery style and icon picker in side display we have lock screen options like lock screen media art double line clock and always on ambient display then further down in display there are options like minimum maximum and prefer refresh rate and other settings like preventing accidental wake up and tap to wake gestures currently we don't have a font and icon picker and at the bottom we have device extra settings where we got options like alert slider customization touch screen gestures high brightness mode fps overlay game mode unlimited edge touch and system vibrator synth so as i said the rom does give a decent number of options considering it is not released officially and still in beta phases so should you install this rom yes you can but i will suggest you to wait for the official release which will be done in a couple of weeks most probably till then more customization will also be added to the rom and the rom is really good i am yet to face any major bug on this one thanks to the developer for putting so much hard work and efforts in building this world in building this rom comment down if you want me to make an installation video for the same if you want to install this rom right now i'll leave a link in the description below with an install installation video also i'll make a lot of rom reviews and i'll be trying another android 13 roms subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos thank you for